controversy as always with Ali Knows the News. I can't figure it out. It seems so simple. Five questions every morning right around this time. The questions always have answers that are currently in the news, usually trending headlines. But for whatever reason, there's always issues. And here's the latest. Yo, what is this I'm hearing that you guys are handing out participation trophies for Ali Knows the News? What kind of crap is that, man? Nah, let them, like, let them, like, lose with dignity, bro. You lost your $100. That's it. Don't give them a participation ticket. That's a participation trophy. How are they supposed to grow as listeners, bro? They're not even listening to the news. They just want to be on the radio. Stop giving them a choice. Nah, bro. I don't like it. Bye. So that is uh, because uh, last week and every once in a while when we have extra tickets here, when we're flush with tickets, we say, uh, look, give you 100 bucks if you win, but if you lose, we'll just give you something for getting on the air. And it doesn't seem to affect the intelligence of no. the contestants. No, we anything. thought it would bring us smarter players, but it has not. No. And I so guess it doesn't that, really matter. They're not growing. That's what this guy's complaint is. Let these people better themselves. You can't give everyone a... If you give everyone a stupid participation award in general, then what's the... Uh, well, you're not going to get the next Wayne Gretzky. You're not going to get the next Michael Jordan because everyone's going to go, ah, I got the feeling of winning when they handed me that stupid purple ribbon. Yeah, so I know. I, I mean, but I also feel like just for, you know, calling and trying, it... it nah, I mean, in this case... real I, loser talk over there. All right. Well, I real, didn't get any participation <laughs> trophies when I was yeah, younger, uh, and it shows. There's Allie, your purple ribbon. There's your purple ribbon. Loser talk. Let's get to the game. Five questions about the news. If you do better than Allie, you get $100. And if not, then uh, you get nothing today. Cheats, pooping spider legs, just like me and you. Let's find out if Allie knows the news. Thank you. Just yeah. hands. We're Thank all you. eating poop and spider legs. All right. Let's say hi to Alex on K Rock. Good morning. They call me the barmaid. Beautiful. I like I like how this is already starting. You have a chance at 100 bucks of Allie's money, the easy money. All you got to do is answer these questions quickly, confidently, and accurately. As Allie leaves the K-Rock studios to sequester herself in a room far, far away. And uh, you're more than welcome to play along. Let us know how you do. If you're listening and driving or just waking up, what a refresher to learn about what you missed while you were sleeping. It's time for Allie Knows the News. Here we go. Allie Knows the News. All right, iconic Taco Bell items are coming back to three California locations. Name one item that is coming back to the Taco Bell menu. Uh, the Mexican pizza. Question number two. A flight had to make an emergency landing at LAX early this morning. What airline was it? Southwest. Scientists are saying the San Andreas fault line isn't as dangerous as w- the one that runs through where? Yellowstone. Question number four. The founder of this famous cookie has died at the age of 88. A famous Amos. And finally, Damn. your last question. Disney is asking a court to dismiss a wrongful death case after a man died from an allergic reaction at one of their restaurants. For what reason? What reason are they saying they should dismiss the case? Peanut allergy. All right, let's bring Allie in. We'll score it together. Allie's battling uh, Alex from Tustin right now for 100 bucks of her own money. She can't win, but she can lose. And here we go. Allie, question number one. Uh-huh. Iconic Taco Bell items are coming back to three California locations. Yep. Name one item that is supposedly coming back. Uh, I believe one of them is the green burrito. All right. I would have accepted the following. The t- the uh, tostada, uh-huh. the green burrito, yep. or the Mexi Melt. I also would have taken the beef gordita supreme or the caramel apple empanada. Boy, they all sound delicious. Yeah, they do. Uh, anyway, he unfortunately gave us the Mexican pizza, which already came back a few years earlier. So Ali gets the point. And we go to question number two, and Ali already is up one nothing. A flight had to make an emergency landing at LAX early this morning. What airline was it? Hmm, Alaska? A lot of emergency landings these days, so it's hard to keep track. He said Southwest. Ali says Alaska. She had the wrong AA. It was American Airlines that had the emergency landing at LAX uh, this morning. We go to question number three, and Ali is up. one nothing as we go to question three. Scientists are saying the San Andreas fault line isn't as dangerous as this one that runs through oh, where? Oh, yeah. I haven't read about this yet. Um, San Bernardino? 
Now, they're saying the one that runs right through Los Angeles, the Puente Hills fault line, oh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. the one that even though it's not nearly as deep or as big as the San Andreas because it's over a lot more people, that one, they say, is creepy. When they ran the prediction of a 7-something uh, point well, five the whole quake. city falls apart. Uh, it's like 100,000 die. It's pretty scary. What? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's crazy. We should have talked to Dr. Lucy about that when she was on with us. Anyway, moving on. Allie's still up one nothing. Go to question number four. The founder of this famous cookie has died at the age of 88. Oh, famous Amos. Yeah, what a loss. I know that that's no one's favorite cookie, but I feel like... Every- I think it's a great... It's fine. It's always you get co- those little packages and you're like, cool, it's, it's a good, great. It's a good vending machine cookie. Absolutely. But it is always covered in crumbs of itself. It's a very yeah, like, it's like weird... Yeah, it's like cookie dust. I yeah, like it. It's got, yeah, it's got its own coating of itself. It's strange, but... You guys like, both get the point on that one. He got that as well. Did he ever make full-on cookies, or it was always the tiny baby ones? I think it was always those little tiny baby ones. Yeah, I've never, never seen, got into regular cookies. Never huh? seen a full-sizer. We go to question number five, and Allie's up by one, and here we go. Disney is asking a court to dismiss a wrongful death case after a man died from an allergic reaction at one of their restaurants. But what is the reason they're saying the case should be dismissed? Oh, isn't it about streaming? Like the guy signed up for a streaming service or something? The guy apparently signed a Disney Plus trial. And I don't know (laughs) what that has anything to do with the other thing. in In the fine print, it said, like, you can't sue us. Wow. Unbelievable. Are you serious? Yeah. No one really. That is amazing, Disney. Uh, good, good on you. You're magic. Well, Alex, you, uh, you worked it, but unfortunately, uh, Ali, I love that he uh, only did the trial, too. He never. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. He never fully signed up. Uh, Ali reigns supreme yet again. What must you shamefully admit, Alex, over the uh, airwaves of K-Rock? I'm Alex from Tested, and Allie knows the news. Yeah, for today she does. But tomorrow you have another shot at it, another $100, and uh, someone is waking up to the great news. OMG, the caramel ap- empanadas are effing amazing. Mm. Hell yeah. Thanks for the info. Someone else said, I also signed that waiver when I signed up for Disney+. Plus. Now I can't sue either. Damn. <laughs> now if I die, I can't sue them. <laughs> so uh, we'll get to all of that, I'm sure, and a lot more. But first, let's give you Green Day on K-Rock. Thanks for eavesdropping in on our radio show, you perverts. Yeah, when you're not being reported by your neighbors, you can check out the podcast or the live show on K Rock or wherever you get your podcasts. That's right, which apparently is a lot of places. Find Klein Alley's show and listen to this show in its entirety. Plus, if you download and subscribe, we will save a puppy from being executed. Oh my God, there's puppies being executed? Oh, there goes another one. Oh, those are high stakes.